Hey Pisces, what's going on y'all? It's your girl Blue Phoenix and I'm back with another message. And guess what y'all, listen, you're unstoppable Pisces. I'm unstoppable, we are unstoppable. Let's talk about it, okay? <laughs> First we gotta get the formalities out the way, right? I'm Blue Phoenix for anyone new here that's just visiting the planet. This was a planet created just for us, Pisces. So take a look around, boo. See if you like the place. Fill us out around here. And when you do, go down below, hit the subscribe button. You'll become an official citizen of Planet Pisces. And to all my returning Planet Pisces citizens, hey, you my babes. I love y'all so much. And I'm so thankful to each and every one of y'all for all the support that y'all give me, all the love in the comments. Um, I feel the love. I can feel it through the screen, through my final screen. <laughs> and I really, really thank y'all. Y'all know everything that y'all send to me is returned to you. What? Three times, 330. Three. You understand me? All right. Don't forget to like the video, you guys. Um, that is a way that helps me tap into your energy to see your story more clearly. And boy, do I have some messages for us today, y'all. Let me take a breath. Let's do it together, okay? Let's take a breath together just to cleanse the energy. Help me connect with you, okay? So let's do it together. Spirit, help me tap in to the Pisces Collective here on planet Pisces. May this message resonate to the deepest parts of Pisces. Help us to uncover truths that we need to hear, things that we may not want to hear, but that is vital to our soul's progress and divine purpose. Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, ancestors, spirit guides, archangels, and all divine beings of the highest, widest light. I thank you. Archangels, I ask that you protect me as I channel these energies for Pisces. Let me start off by saying I had a nightmare last night. For those of y'all that don't know, I posted yesterday. And I don't have nightmares, okay? I don't... What? What is that? I might have some confusing dreams, some shit I don't understand. But I don't think I've ever had a nightmare. <laughs> I literally had a nightmare last night. So I posted yesterday in the community tab that spirit has been calling me to do a lot of shadow work lately. Okay. Shadow work is, it sounds weird. It sounds dark and shit. But shadow work is basically us confronting the shadow side of us. The side of us that we don't show to the world. Um <clears throat> the the side of us that we mask that we that that we cover up you know we are very very um empathic and mutable and you know we're able to adjust and adapt pisces you know to whatever is going on around us and sometimes we cover up our hurts we we push them down you know what i'm saying and we don't confront them because sometimes we're so worried about making sure everybody else is good that we're not making sure we're good we're not checking in with ourselves and everybody it's not just pisces every sign you know what i'm saying needs to do shadow work period um i've done shadow work in the past but spirit was really 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 oh my god explore your ancestry we're gonna get into it <laughs> but um Spirit was really calling me to go deeper with my shadow work because there are areas in my life where I know I'm doing the manifestation work. I'm positive. I'm doing my affirmations and all these things to promote positivity and high vibrations in my life. Yet there's still areas of my life um, that I'm just like, Spirit, what's up? Like, what's going on? What's good? So for you guys, this could be in the areas of finances, in love. Okay, and family dynamics I'm hearing, okay? All right, so take the message for what it is for you. This is a Planet Pisces reading, so um, I'm reading for the collective, all right? So everything may not resonate, so please use your discernment and um, put the energy where it goes, okay? All right, so about this nightmare, y'all, yesterday, um, I didn't post the video. I wanted to, I really wanted to share with you guys about shadow work yesterday, but 
it was just too much it was spirit took me deep y'all when i say deep i cried i fucking like y'all like ooh, snotted up and shit you know what i'm saying so i had to do the work marinate on it and then come back and you know let you guys know what my experience was so anyway uh, a little more about shadow work shadow the shadow side of us is developed like we it is formed by things that we don't necessarily control okay so insecurities fears doubt um feelings of abandonment resentment things of that nature they could come from childhood some people relate shadow work to inner child work you may have heard that before if you've never heard of shadow work or a childhood regression things like that like going back into your childhood and <coughs> um, repairing things that were taken from you um mindsets that were were driven into you things that we've developed um from dynamics with our parents okay but it doesn't have to just be from childhood this could even be from last freaking week you understand me in a karmic ass relationship um y'all know i like to share shit about myself okay uh, but i told y'all about this guy that i was like completely thought i was in love with um for three years had a mask on totally disregarded my worth my feelings and and what i deserved you understand what i'm saying and through that relationship i developed a shadow another part of my shadow that made me feel as though i wasn't worthy of love that made me feel like it it really still stems from my childhood being ignored by my father being i'm sorry abandoned by my father ignored by my mom you know what i'm saying and having to perform to get attention you understand what i'm saying having to appease to get attention okay i feel like a lot of us all right can relate to this um especially as pisces you understand what i'm saying all right so with that coming from my childhood um not really being told as a woman from a father or as a as a girl from a father a male figure that i'm worthy or that you know standards should be here you know having a mom who never really talked to me about sex in a way that you know you should protect and and cherish your body me and my mom were like this as far as like we could talk and chop it up she was the coolest mom in the world but she had issues too you know what i'm saying and going through shadow work and doing shadow work helps us to really dive deep and see where our blockages are coming from where which blockages come from our own mindsets you understand what I'm saying? I'm very big on self-accountability. You know, we can't put shit on other people like, oh, they treated me like this and they got me in this situation. No, my nigga, you got yourself in that situation. I'm sorry to say it. I'm, I'm sorry. It is through us allowing. Okay, a person can only treat you the way you allow them to treat you, right? And the first step of healing is recognizing and acknowledging that something needs to be healed you can't confront and do shadow work if you don't know what needs to be healed you can't manifest your dream life you know it you might manifest this and that and the other but it, it's not consistent right it comes but it doesn't stick around it doesn't stay because there may be a deeper issue that needs to be addressed pisces right all right, so I took notes. So y'all, um, if I'm looking down, that's because I got I got notes. <laughs> but um, believe it or not, this side of us controls our lives more than the side we show to the world. Also, I like to give credit where credit is due. Um, I watched Clark Kegley, I think is K-E-G-L-E-Y or something like that. Clark Kegley, his video on shadow work and took notes from his video. Although I definitely recommend Christina Lopes, L-O-P-E-S. I know some may say it's pronounced Lopez. I thought so too. That's how she pronounced her name. Take it up with her. Anyway, <laughs> um, but the thing is, is that we don't, like I told y'all, we don't control this forming side of us. We become programmed by different things. Um, for example, our environment, the way we grew up, our parents, karmic relationships, as I said. All right. The problem is that we cannot fix something that we don't know is broken. Right. The shadow hides in our subconscious. And in order for us to confront it, we must uncover it. So how do we uncover our shadows? 
how do we know what to work on right of course meditation definitely get grounded all right try to clear your energy before doing any kind of shadow work make sure you're in an environment that is conducive to receiving messages all right from your higher self from your spirit team right but the first um thing that y'all know i'm very big on scripting but scripting is a little different than journaling okay to me scripting is writing out the writing out your life as though it already exists which is huge that's big but that's like later down the line let's talk about journaling real quick um there were studies done like at a university where a professor gave the students assignments right Half of the assignment, I mean, half of the students had to write about traumatic events in their lives for, I think, six days or something like that. And the other half of the students had to just write about whatever, just free writing, whatever they wanted to. Very much superficial, right? The study showed that the students that wrote about traumatic events in their lives were more capable or less depressed than the students who wrote about just worldly things, surface level shit, superficial, all right? Mm, so I'm about a Taurus, all right? I don't know why, but all right. <laughs> anyway, <coughs> these signs could also be in your chart. Um, and if y'all ain't noticed yet, this video is definitely not like a regular video. Um, but I hope y'all appreciate the time and the energy that I'm sharing with you guys, okay? And if you do, don't forget to like the video. All right, anyway, or you can also donate, do a super chat or anything like that. It's very much highly appreciated. And I so totally believe that everything y'all send to me gets returned to y'all three times, 333. Anyway, all right, so write about traumatic events. Get it out of your psyche and transfer it to paper. All right, what this does is transmute the energy for one thing. All right, I wrote down the other day, right? Before I even read, um, I mean, before I even started researching shadow work a little deeper than what my you know what i knew i wrote down the stop hurts with me i am the great alchemist all right pisces this is you apply it to your situation right i am breaking generations of bondage um of unforgiveness when i heal my ancestors heal the feelings and um the feelings of abandonment rejection loneliness unworthiness i release this you understand me tell yourself that excuse me understand that when we journal when we take a moment and and, and pour time love and energy into ourselves which this is work y'all this is not something that you just wake up say a prayer and you go on about your day and everything is fixed it's not like that and i'm not even gonna sit here and lie to y'all like this shit is easy it's not it pulled from me, but that pulling from me was healing so much so that I had a nightmare where a demon came for me, y'all. Like real talk, I've never, ever, ever, ever had a dream like this. I had to get up, all right? It was 12, 12 on the clock when I woke up. I had to get up, light my damn white copal incense and cleanse my area, cleanse my home, my bed, my, my entire house. And pulling down strongholds. You understand what I'm saying? When you transform, when you begin to transform, you will notice things. Those lower vibrational energies, those generational curses, those things that have stuck to you subconsciously, they will begin to break. And you know who don't like that? The freaking low level energies, the devil, whoever you want to call it. You know what I'm saying? All right. The enemy. It does not like that. Fallen what? fallen demons or something i'm hearing all right for some of y'all y'all could have had a curse on your family line your bloodline from generations ago understand these energies are real you know what i'm saying so when we go about breaking these ties freeing our ancestors okay because when we free ourselves we're freeing them remember we are chosen pisces at least this message is for the chosen pisces you understand me <laughs> All right, but we are chosen. We are a chosen generation. We were chosen to break the cycles. You know what I'm saying? Not to try to find love in someone else. S trying to find someone to complete us. No, fuck that. Excuse my language. But no, the book stops here, damn it. All right, something about a goddamn Taurus. What is a book? A book might be a horse. I don't know. What is a book? I don't know, but anyway. <laughs> what is a book? 
Hey Siri, what is a buck? Might be like a dollar, bitch. See, I knew she was gonna say some crazy shit. Somebody name might be Adam. All right. <laughs> anyway, if y'all know what it is, drop it down below in the comment section. Y'all, I'm I'm heated now, okay? I just wanted to bring y'all this message. I'm about to head out to work, but this was very much a message that a chosen few of us needed to hear. Really, I feel like all of us needed to hear this message or need to hear this message, but all of us are not in the area of receiving this message right now. You know what I'm saying? Not everyone is on the same level of healing, you know? And it's no shade to anybody that does not resonate with this message. It's just that, you know what I'm saying? They may not be, like I said, on the same healing path as we are, right? All right, so um, alchemy, transmuting, that's what getting those traumatic events. Like last night, I literally, it was like I was interviewing my shadow. And I wrote it all down, y'all. Like real talk, y'all know me. I'm big on writing, okay? <laughs> like this was all my shadow work shit, okay? And I ain't finished. I got another page. But anyway... <laughs> getting it out on paper and you don't don't you know i'm not here to compare anything or make you feel like you have to do that much do what your spirit is telling you to do okay but think of an event first of all try to identify what causes you to do some of the things you do why do you keep attracting relationships where people just take from you why do you keep attracting karmic relationships, situationships, people that use you, use you for sex, use you for money? You understand what I'm saying? Use up your energy. My God, I feel spirit in here. Wow. Healing is possible. Wholeness is possible. Yesterday, I went on a walk. Really, I didn't go on a walk. This thing been calling me, y'all. It was at the end of my street. They doing new construction work up there and stuff at the end of my street. And it's called Goldenrod, right? And it has been calling me and speaking to me every time I pass by to be like, hey, boo, what's up? Come here, girl. So I went and I, I picked it. I did some research on it. I asked Mama Gaia, could I get it first? You know what I'm saying? Mother, may I? And she was like, yeah, girl, go ahead. Anyway, so <laughs> I did research and um, the word, let me see. I pulled it up. Hold on. Y'all know I'm big on research and always do your own research, right, y'all? Like, don't forget, do your own research. Don't take everything I'm saying as, you know, law. Do your own research. But uh, how do you say this? Salidago, S-O-L-I-D-A-G-O. -O. It says the name Salidago comes from Latin, where solid means heal and a go means to make. To heal, to make whole. Uh, that was another translation I saw. It said to uh, Salidago means to make whole. You understand what I'm saying? Pay attention to everything around you, Pisces. Don't go crazy now. Get all paranoid, or, you know, overly doing shit. <laughs> but, um... If you feel like something is calling you for your attention, research it. See what messages lie there in that for you. You understand what I'm saying? Our spirit team is real, y'all. We have to understand and know our guardian angels, our higher self, our ancestors are speaking to us all the time through numbers, symbols, nature, definitely through nature. And check out shit. If something is calling to you, literally dive deep in that shit and see what the message is for you. And I know yesterday when I picked that and shadow work was on my mind. Um, oh, my left ear is ringing. Okay. Yo, recognize divine timing. All right. Stop breaking agreements. Mm. I'm also hearing forgive yourself. All right. But anyway, I knew that that goldenrod was speaking to me because I want to be made whole. You understand? And that's what I want for our community. I want our community, our planet to be whole, not needing for anything. You understand? I feel as though we are already whole. We just don't know it yet. We just don't realize it. We don't recognize it. This illusion of a world can really beat you down. It can really discourage you. But it's time for us to take off our mask that we're showing this world and really step into our healing. Okay, let's see.
Examine your integrity. Listen. Okay, you see this lady got a puppet on a string. Uh -uh. We don't have time to be controlled, okay? By the ways of this world, by other people, by their energy. Right? Remove the mask, Pisces. Okay? These feelings of resentment, of unforgiveness, of loneliness, of abandonment, okay? Fear, lack, all of these mindsets, emotions, feelings. It is time for us to confront this, Pisces. Before we take another step to try to manifest something in our lives, we must confront the issue that lies underneath. We are fish. We're able to dive deep, okay? Okay, what is this spirit you show me? What what is this? I don't know what that means, but dulce. All right, I think that's what it says. I don't know. Spirit was just calling me to. I don't know what that means. Okay, listen to your intuition, Pisces. Listen to your intuition. Just like I was saying, if something is calling out to you, don't ignore it. All right. Your spirit team wants you to heal. They want you to address these hidden issues, right? For some of y'all, for all of us, I feel like it's been since we were babies. Things that all, oh, oh, and they're like, we're here. Look, it was like, he's even pulling the sheet up on the baby or she, he or she. And the baby can't see that it's an angel behind them. Do you see that? He's saying amor. Doesn't that mean love or something? Amor? I don't know. All right. So write the traumatic events. Get it out of your psyche and transfer it to paper. This is called transmutation. This is true alchemy. I'm seeing temperance. A Sagittarius could be significant here. All right. Also, ask yourself questions with journaling. What am I avoiding? Okay. Rejection, failure, fear of, fear of not being accepted. Why am I, why am I feeling this way? Right, like really have a dialogue. Um, I don't want to get too much into my business as far as shadow work because you don't want to reveal everything to everybody, right? But as y'all can see, I have two different colors here on my paper. And I had wrote in purple, that was me. And the black was my shadow. You understand what I'm saying? I literally interviewed my shadow last night. I'm like, bitch, what's going on here tonight? Nobody got time. Ain't nobody got time to be slacking slow down okay what's up show me what's wrong you know what i'm saying and i wrote y'all and literally <sighs> reading it i'm like damn it was like i was real talk like looking at myself as a child and talking to myself as a child i even wrote like i don't want to do this i don't want to come from under the cover this is my security blanket not showing the side of me it's comfortable here and i'm scared Mm. Oh, he said, when I see your face and I contemplate, what if I erase me? Let's not do that. Access clear thinking, Pisces. All right. Remember what I said to clear your energy, right? And doing this, script, uh, not scripting, but journaling and talking to your shadow will literally, it will bring up and, and you might need a box of tissues, baby. Okay. Because <laughs> it's going to get deep. But know that that is a form of release as well. You know what I'm saying? We fishies, okay, definitely increase your water intake. All right, especially before doing shadow work. Um, I would definitely say, and that helps your intuition as well, right? Um, but drink your water because you're gonna excrete it <laughs> when doing the shadow work. It is gonna pull on emotions that you may not have even known were there. Resentments. That you didn't even realize you still held on to. All right. This could go. This could be towards a parent. It, I'm hearing some about being bullied in school. All right. It can even stem like from places like that. That we're like, oh my God, I'm grown. Who fucking cares about elementary school and being called Chia Pet because my mama had me in a Jerry Curl in 94. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> Real talk though. I'm just telling y'all. I was at school. Jerry Curl fresh. That wasn't that wasn't fly back then though, y'all. It was it was it was whack. Okay, <laughs> so a nigga got janked. Shit. 
<laughs> but little stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? That we think, oh, you know, I'm over that. But being talked about and things of that nature um, and picked on can cause you to, to go into a shell. It can cause you to not express your true self. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. All right, focus on higher truths, Pisces. You see that mask? You got to take that mask off, baby. All right? This is something, and listen to me now. Not only are we healing things from this lifetime, remember, we're healing things from past lifetimes. We're healing things from our ancestors. You understand what I'm saying? Once again, we are chosen. We are the chosen generation, right? And being chosen ain't no easy task, my nigga. You can't sit up here and tell me you chosen and you had a fucking a beautiful ass life. You ain't got no war stories. I don't believe you then. <laughs> I don't. Period. You know what I'm saying? You just picking up on something that's trending. Get out my face, right? <laughs> but real talk. Remove the mask, Pisces. And again, listen to your intuition. Something about birds, okay? My God, what I say, past lives, learn from karma. That moon is there, dive deep, Pisces. My goodness. Your guardian angels are all around you, baby. That look like steps to me. I thought those were steps. That's a that's a that's a um, a river or water or whatever. Elevation protection covering is what i'm hearing unraveling and uh, something again about divine timing here okay i'm hearing that uh, some of y'all are ready for something to break through you're ready for like come on divine i'm telling you remove the mass pisces and you don't have to go, like, I'm not telling y'all to, like, go out there and just, you know, remove your mask for the world right now. No, remove the mask for yourself. Uncover why you allow certain things in your life. Why have you not gone after your dream? Why have you pushed down your desires, your wants? Why have you quieted yourself? I'm hearing dumbed down. You've dumbed yourself down for the world. You're too much is what I'm hearing. You're too shush. Okay, I know I got shushed as a grown up. And I was like, bitch, don't shush me. I'm grown. But um, anyway, something about... I'm going to take that as a confirmation with the train in the background. Moving on along is what I'm hearing. Your path, Pisces, is not one of many. Do you understand what I'm saying? Your path is unique. Your path is divine. You had to go through everything you've gone through so that you learn from karma. You learn. Karma means lessons, okay? That's what I think of when I hear karma, right? Forgiveness. But not just forgiving other people, but forgiving yourself. You have to start with yourself first. Self-accountability. He said, you set me free and you gave me freedom. Who is this? Zante, Jesus called my name. Okay, Zante, come through with the come through. All right, Zante. I hope y'all can see it. I don't know why it come out so blurry. Okay, he, he sang it too, y'all. I saw him in concert. He live as hell. Anyway, um, damn, he said, you freed me from my pain. He said, he gave me healing from my pain. Say that to him, boy. Yeah. Okay, we healing around here, Pisces. Thank y'all for being patient with me and allowing me to do this work for myself. Everything I do for myself, Pisces, I feel as though every increase I take, every step I take to elevate, I'm bringing my family with me. You understand me? Y'all are my soul family. 
And every win that I have, you have. Every win you have, oh, nigga, I have. You understand? And I ain't forgot, I'm working on a master plan, me and spirit, so that I can, um, that we can elevate each other, that we can share our gifts with each other. You understand what I'm saying? It's wrong for all of us to win, you know? That's what we need. We need a W. We need a win. You understand what I'm saying? Period. All right. So the last, last but not least, um, integrate your shadow. All right. So visualize the traumatic event and tell yourself it's okay. Encourage yourself. Pour into yourself. Give me one second. Let me show y'all this. All right. So when I was a little girl, very, very, very much a lot of i'm not gonna go into my shit my my trauma and shit but i actually got a picture hey <laughs> baby ifa okay this is my government Shh. <laughs> but anyway yeah all right i got a picture of myself and i literally visualized like even in this picture i can remember um choreographing dances and um trying to do this to perform in front of my mom to get her attention like making up dances um writing songs things of that nature when people were telling me oh your mom could sing but you can't sing stuff like that you know what i'm saying little shit like that sticks with us as adults if we do not face them right anyway i visualized myself like that i was talking to myself this was my shadow you understand what I'm saying? I interviewed her last night. We had dialogue. And I went back and I healed that. I began the healing process. Let's talk about this nightmare real quick and we're going to close out. All right? All right, church. Amen. But uh, <laughs> I play to it. But anyway, y'all, it was a demon. It was literally... I know it was a demon because I, I killed him in the end and he turned into a fucking demon. Anyway, it was a person that was stalking me in my dreams. This person tried their best to make me look crazy. They put, they tapped my phone so that I couldn't call the police. They, um, and it was telepathic as well because I wouldn't let this person in my house, but everything in my house, my children wouldn't believe me. They thought I was crazy. They were playing around some kind of way. Two other kids transported into my house to with my uh oldest son and the little girl that was in his room with him was like all in the window and i'm like get your ass out the window yo like get out the window the man is outside he's stalking me i don't want him to know we're in here he's knocking on the door he's telling me telepathically bitch i got you you understand what i'm saying you ain't finna win i got you you're not finna let me go i know that was a part of my fucking shadow I just got upset for a minute. Hold on. Nope. All right. Anyway, <laughs> I know that was a part of my shadow that did not want to leave me. A part of my ancestral line that did not want to go. It did not want to release me. It did everything it could. It told me telepathically, bitch, you're going to be in a mental hospital. You're going to be in jail. All of this crazy shit. Right? Because in my mind, I'm like, I'm finna kill this bitch. I'm finna if if he come up in here, I'm killing him. Period. Long story short, some kind of way the bitch got in my house. <laughs> he got in my house. I leave out of my room and I pass by him. He thinks I don't see him though. He's in my hallway. Right? I saw him in my peripheral. And y'all, I'm telling you, sun gazing is very, very beneficial because in the Harataki T, y'all know I'm big on Harataki T, but it helps me to retain my dreams, my my visions and all of that it helps me to be able to recall them so that i can journal them write them down record them on a voice recorder whatever the case may be so that i can get ultimate um knowledge and understanding of what messages my spirit team is giving me because they speak to us through our dreams as well anyway so as i'm going by dude he's right there in the corner he thinks i ain't see him y'all i turn around and i take his knife from him which was like a, a um indian uh, what do they call them they look like this like spearhead or something like that but and i stabbed this nigga he fell on the ground i took the knife out and i stabbed him again and y'all it was like his body went from a regular body to like beef jerky feeling like the texture of it. anyway we're not gonna get into how it felt for me to kill this nigga but as i'm killing him he literally turns from a human body into a skeleton like a skull and you could just it was ugh. anyway i know i defeated a demon 
a an attachment, a spirit. You understand what I'm saying? So with that being said, <laughs> just know that you are made for more than whatever your situation is right now. Whether it be good or bad, your situation, you're still made and meant for more. You have a divine calling on your life. You have a big purpose in this world, Pisces. Take that mask off. Take some time for yourself and reflect on the things that may be holding you back. Okay? Go back in time. Meditate and talk to that baby girl or baby boy, that younger you. Let them know that everything is okay. Encourage them. Tell them. Literally, it was like I was writing affirmations to myself. You are loved. You deserve all the attention in the world. Don't hide yourself for anyone. I had to literally talk to myself like I talked to my children. And encourage myself. The Bible tell you to do that shit. Encourage yourself. You understand me? And sometimes that self is our inner child, our younger self. Even a past relationship that's still your younger self, right? And remember, time is linear. It's not what we think it is. You understand what I'm saying? Past, present, future, all that shit be coexisting at the same time. You know, we ain't gonna get into all the timeline shit and, you know, time being an illusion. Do your research, though. Like, research this shit, Pisces. The world we live in, like, what is it? Um, truth is stranger than, fi than fiction. Real talk. <laughs> anyway, all right. I think that is all. I got to get my butt to work before I'm late. I love you all. I thank you. Thank you if you decided to donate to the channel. Thank you if you decided to donate to this video by way of super chats down below. All right. In the live chat. And if you're watching this on replay, baby, don't worry. All my links are down below. Cash out, PayPal, whatever. <laughs> but I do appreciate you guys. Nevertheless, I love you all. I'm praying for y'all and we healing together. All right. If y'all need me, hit me up. You know, I love chopping it up with y'all in the comment section. I do ask that y'all give me a day or two to respond. As you see, I am a working mom. Okay. All right. I love y'all. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.